at downtown Disney at Raglan Road um, at the Hooli. It's a celebration, and we're here with Ronan McCormick, and he is from the original Riverdance cast. Um, he does Irish dance choreography. And can you tell us a little bit about your passion for what you do? Well, I started to dance when I was about three years old. Um, my mom was an Irish dancer, and she wanted my brother and I to take up the tradition. So we were quite young starting off. So it's, it's kind of just always been part of my life. Um, fortunately, I, I had an aptitude for it, and I, I, I progressed quite quickly. I started to compete when I was five. So um, I stopped competing when I was 22. So I had quite a long competitive career, and over that time, I competed at, at national level, international level. I came to the States to compete at the North American Championship. So in those days, competition was the, the sort of the highlight for, for an Irish dancer. Um, we did perform. We performed at local events, sometimes in corporate events, and some cultural festivals. But really, Riverdance changed all that for Irish dancers. And at the time when Riverdance happened, um, I, I planned a different career path because Irish dancing wasn't a possible full-time career. With the popularity of Riverdance, that completely turned my, my life plan on its head. And I, I, I consider myself very fortunate to be able to do something that I am passionate about and that I love as my job. It, you know, sometimes it feels like work, but sometimes it doesn't. I can imagine. And what do you think is um, the universal appeal? Because like Riverdance caught on, and even here at Raglan Road during the Hooli, um, you've got the audience so participating. Everybody loves it. What do you think brings that passion? I think the, the first thing to attract the audience is the music. Irish music is so lively, it's so rhythmical, um, and I, I think that really hooks people to start with. And it, it gets your toe tapping, and once your toe starts tapping, your leg starts moving, when your leg starts moving, you got to get up and down. So one thing sort of feeds the other. Um, I, think, I think the effect Riverdance had on people, and I, I often, I, I've often wished that I was in the audience for the first performance to see how I would have reacted. I'm very grateful that I was on stage for the first performance because the reaction we got from the audience was spectacular. But, but I think the closest I came to, to understanding it was seeing the Rockettes in Radio City. The 32 ladies with their precision, you know, really, really drilled and performing just spot on. And I think what Riverdance adds to that is the percussive sound. And again, as I said, the amazing, amazing, lively, passionate music. So I think all of those um, ingredients married together, that's what really caught the imagination of the public. Um, and, and has allowed me to go on a roller coaster ride of, of Irish dance over the last decade or two. <laughs> yeah, and um, so now you're doing about choreography? Well, yeah, um, I, I, my work is sort of divided between um, coaching um, championship dancers. So I would choreograph for, for competition and then also coach the dancers on their technique. Um, and then also I get to work here at Raglan Road where I do um, show style choreography um, for the for the dancers and the performances here. And while the basic steps are the same for both disciplines, um, the, there, there are definite differences as well. And for, for competition, the, the structure is, is, is a lot tighter on what you can and can't do. And obviously it's mainly about footwork. But when we're working on a show like we are here in Raglan Road, we can use the upper body a little, which sort of became popular with Riverdance and Lord of the Dance. To, to allow a little bit of arm movement. Again, harping back to the Shandos, or old style of traditional Irish dance. It, it sort of it revived that. So, to some extent, working on a show where you have a little more freedom to do something a little different. So you kind of enjoy So I enjoy that, but... um, where sometimes the competition thing can feel a little bit constrained because there are more, more definite guidelines we have to follow. Well, thank you so much for uh, sharing that with us, and um, we'll, uh, we're really enjoying see the, seeing the dancing, and I recommend that everybody come down to Raglan Road to see the dancers, and you'll have a great time. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.